Let's have a look at the cover. What can you see on the cover? Pineapple. Fruit. Pineapple. And a person wearing a pineapple and, and fruit hat. <laughs> Her name is Handa. It's called Handa's Surprise and it's I, I think the lady that did the writing of the story also did the drawing. And, and She's the author it. and the illustrator. And her name is Eileen Brown. Now remember, if you've seen this book, what are you going to do? Keep it a secret. Don't tell them. But you need to use your ears to hear the words and you're going to need to use your eyes to get the whole story because the pictures tell some of the story. Panda's Surprise by Eileen Brown. Panda put seven delicious fruits in a basket for her friend, Akeo. Sometimes I'll introduce the book by looking at the cover and trying to predict what the story might be about. We might talk about the author. Sometimes I will just start to read the story, read the title, read the author and start the story. Um, depending on on what we're doing and the time of the day and what the purpose of the book is as well, of course. Hello, Akeo, said Handa. I've bought you a surprise. Tangerine, said Akeo, my favourite fruit. <coughs> Tangerine, said Handa. That is a surprise. The animals took all the other fruit, didn't they? They're eating it now. She got a surprise. Let's have a look. On the front, this end page, are lots of pictures of the fruit that she put in there, into her basket. What? How does she carry her basket? She puts it on her head. Do you think this girl lives in Australia? Yeah. No, she lives in India. Or she might be in Africa. I think that you could be on the right track, Eva. I think she lives in Africa. At the back of the book, it tells me that the lady that wrote it used to live in Africa and she went to a village in Africa where these children live and used them to make up the story. When I'm using questioning with books, I guess it's to help the children to focus on the element of the story that, that I think is important or to focus on some aspects of the story that they may not have seen. In that story that I read in the library today, a lot of the complexity of the story is happening in the illustrations. It's not in the words. The words are just flowing along and, and it's quite a nice story. But if you're looking at the pictures as well, you're seeing so much more of the complications of the story. So the questioning was to help them to focus on that and be aware of that. Um, and sometimes it might be to pose problems or to get them to predict the ending of a story. So there might be other times when we'll use questions for different reasons. We might stop halfway through and say, I wonder what's going to happen next and let's think about it. So there'll be lots of... Um, questions are used in various ways depending on the books.